Control theory is a branch of various engineering disciplines such as control engineering, electronic engineering, chemical engineering, mechatronics, electrical engineering, among others. The control theory formulates mathematical laws to describe the dynamic behavior of systems according to certain specifications and restrictions of the process itself, and its study is essential for the development and automation of industrial processes. Autocontrol gives us the foundations to carry out industrial automation where the optimal operation of any dynamic system is sought. Hello, how are you, controller and controller? I welcome you to this course on implementing control systems on embedded devices like our Arduino. To begin with, let me introduce myself. I am Sergio Andres Castaño Giraldo. I hold a degree in instrumentation and control engineering and I've also completed a master's degree in automation and control systems. At present, I'm in the final stages of my doctorate in chemical engineering, focusing on advanced control systems, studies for industrial processes. For a period of around five years now, I have been actively disseminating the theory and control systems. At this moment, I currently have the largest YouTube channel in the Spanish language that is specifically related to control engineering. And the objective of this course here, within the Udemy platform, is to be able to bring all those abstract concepts of control engineering and be able to translate them into the real physical world. And for the purpose of achieving that, we are going to utilize our cherished Arduino development board, which will assist us in implementing various types of controllers within a given process. However, I want you to be aware that this course also has a twin brother that is essentially another course located right here within the Udemy platform where the exact same subject is covered but with the distinction that in that other course our emphasis is on programming the microchip PIC microcontroller, specifically the 18F4550 model. So there are two courses that cover the same subject of implementing control systems in embedded systems, one for Arduino and another for Piki microcontrollers. You will have the opportunity to enroll in the course that interests you the most, depending on the embedded system that you like the most. This control systems course is entirely practical and you will have the opportunity to accompany me in developing each of the practices that we will perform so that you can observe how the theory of control systems operates in real life situations. At the beginning of this course, I'm going to teach you how to create your own control systems practice plant. In that case, let's establish this temperature plant. I am going to instruct you on how to construct it from the beginning because with this plant, we will carry out all the exercises within this course so that subsequently, you can even execute other varieties of controllers that we will not cover in the course. And you will have your own plant, so you can do your own practices. You can directly perform this temperature plant on the breadboard and also here in the course because I will teach you how to make the PCB or printed circuit board so that it looks much nicer and more presentable for you to continue with your studies in control. And very important, this board will also serve you to do studies, for example, of system modeling or system identification. And once we have created our temperature plant, we will then determine how to convert all those block diagrams into control systems so that our development board in this case the Arduino, can interpret the control structures and algorithms and in this way can optimize the temperature control of our plant. Furthermore, this plant has been enhanced as it is built upon Professor John Hedengren's TC lab from AP Monitor. However, in this new board, we will also have the option to read an external temperature. Additionally, we have the capability to measure the current flowing through the transistors, which gives us unique features for testing various control structures. 
As we progress in this course, we will have the ability to compare the performance of different control structures on our temperature plant and thus be able to discern which one would be the most suitable for this process. We will also see what possible problems we could have when trying to bring that abstract theory of control into the real physical world and how we can solve them. However, in order to take this course, it is recommended that you know how to program Arduino. Since this course does not focus on explaining Arduino programming, that is a requirement that you must already have, and you must also have MATLAB software installed, which is a software that is fully specialized and primarily designed for the field of control engineering. And it's because we're going to develop different control algorithms which we're going to fully implement in the Arduino. However, we will also observe that in MATLAB, we have the capability to perform all the engineering development and subsequently transfer the parameters to the Arduino. This enables the Arduino to compute the control action at a significantly faster rate, allowing us to expedite project development in a practical manner. In addition, MATLAB will also enable us to perform system analysis and evaluation. It will also enable us to conduct system identification. That is why it is important for you to have this software installed as well. I am already wanting to start programming my controllers with my Arduino. And you? Would you like to join me? So I will see you when we're inside the course.